Okay, so mainly in my Discord, I've been getting messages from people asking for me to do a mixed tutorial for vocals so they can do their own, even if it's pretty basic, just to help make the song sound a little bit better. I'm finally going to do it, um, so you can basically just follow along with what I do. Right now I'm using a program called Studio One 4, so it's the fourth version of it, um, I think. And the plugins I'm using are pretty expensive, so you definitely don't have to use these. You can get the exact same result using um, pretty like standard plugins or just default plugins that you get with with that you get with uh, whatever door you're using. Um, but today I'm going to be using these ones, which I always use, and basically going through a song I just mixed. So the song I chose is just one that I did with my friends when we were fucking around. It's one of my beats that I've done that's on my channel. It's just the free um, puffer fish meme type beat. So they were just fucking around and did a freestyle. The artists are linked in the description. It's uh, Younger Vita is the first artist on the track. And then the second one is V for Vanquish. Um, both of them are linked in the description. So basically we're just going to go through their vocals and go through all the effects I've put on. And then at the end I'll show you the full song. So I'll just show you the song quickly, just part of it, to give you an idea of what it's going to sound like. Remember this is mixed and not mastered. I could do a mastering video or I could include it in this, but I don't want to because it's a bit different for every song you do. And again, it's with plugins that you might not have, so it's kind of just, I don't know, I don't think it's really needed. Um, when you do master a song, just put a limiter on it and maybe do some EQ adjustments. That's all you really need to do. Dick in your mama mouth, what the fuck she speak? She say, uh, and I don't even tweak when I put my toes in the mouth, what the fuck she speak? She say, uh, and I don't even tweak. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping, bitch. I do not give a shit, that's how I move. If you. Okay, so let's go from there. So usually when I start a mix, I'll just get the main vocal or I'll get the chorus and I'll just loop it. Just the main part of the verse that you want to listen to while you put the effects on it. That's how I do it anyway. So right now it sounds like this with just the vocal with all the effects on it. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. I do not give a shit, that's how I move. So you can hear the delay on it, the reverb and the EQs and whatnot. But I'm going to go through everything now. So I'm just going to turn off everything on the track so you can hear um, the raw vocal. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She want to fuck with me because I am popping, bitch. I do not give a shit. That's how I move. Now, just to put this out here, this was song was not recorded with my normal mic that I do, songs with V for Vanquish 4. It was done on a lower tier mic. I think it was about 120 Australian dollars, so it's like 80 US. Um, it's just a USB mic. I think it was the Rode NT USB. And we have the fan on in the background, so there's a bit of background noise. You can definitely hear the background noise in V for Vanquish verse. So you hear that, and I didn't take the background noise out because I don't usually do it because there usually isn't background noise. So I kind of just ignored it, and it does sound okay. But you can get rid of it a bit if you want to EQ or use a noise gate or some shit like that. But I haven't really looked into it because I don't usually do it. So to start, I put a de on it. I always put a de on on the vocal first because it takes off the sibilance of the vocal so the t's and the s's like the s sound so it doesn't ear like it doesn't pierce your ears when you're listening to it back um this verse in particular doesn't have much sibilance on it so you might need to go through and pick a part of the song where there's a lot of sibilance that you want to get rid of but for instance i'll just play this and i can just audition it so you can hear what i'm talking about with the sibilance so let's put it on and listen she is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. So there's a bit of there's a bit of S's and sh bits there, and you can see them popping up as it um, suppresses it in the in the deesser. So we're just going to audition it, and you can see the hertz that it's cutting out here, that it's um that it's taking, and then it's suppressing. So it's actually coming up in quite a lot. It's cutting out quite a lot of stuff, and you can see on this right side here how much it's actually cutting out. So. When you listen to it back now without the audition, you'll probably notice that it's just kind of darker and there's less high end, but we're going to add those high ends back. It's just taking out the, the high piercing high ends that you don't want to, you don't want to hear back in the mix. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus, she... So it's pretty dead, it's pretty dead vocal. So 
we just go to the next part here. So we'll go into an EQ. So I'm going to be using FabFilter Pro EQ2, or Q2, sorry. And this is my favorite EQ just from a few of the features that you get. But of course, you don't have to use this. I'm not going to say this again, but you don't have to use these plugins. Blah, blah, blah. You can use default plugins. It's going to work the same way. So on this first one, I'll basically take out the low ends that you want to do on any vocal that you want. You've got to take out the low ends so you don't get the full... Um, low frequencies of the vocal so the bass actually cuts through properly if you aren't doing this that's where the main issues are going to come when you're trying to mix a heavy bass song with your vocal with like a distorted 808 something it's just going to come out muffled because there's no room for the 808 or no room well there's no room for the 808 because the vocals there so i'll cut this out so you can hear now without it she is a thotty a slippery esophagus she want to fuck with me because i am popping bitch and i'll turn it on she is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. I so I haven't cut out too much of the low vocal just cause in this song I didn't need it too much. And I like to have a bit of the low in there cause you don't wanna cut out too much otherwise you kind of get a radio effect. I'll show you that here. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. I do not give So you're getting that radio kind of effect on the vocal if you're cutting out too, too many lows. So we'll just backspace that. And then what I've done here is I've just done a bit of subtractive subtractive EQ on just a few of the parts that I didn't like. So one of the features in Pro, um, Pro Q2 is that you can just hit whatever EQ um, shape you're using and just put this um, headphone and basically solo the track or solo the frequency. So you can listen to it back with just this part. And you can see it's just this low end kind of buzz. But I still want it there, so I don't want to cut it all out. That's how I move. With this, I don't want to cut it out here. I want to cut it out a little. Bitch, I, I want to cut it out a little bit. Um, so I'm not trying to talk while the vocals on, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. So I cut a little bit of that out. But shit, that's how I move. And then a little bit here because it's a bit steep. She wanna. F a little bit here again because it's just a little bit um ear piercing. You'll get that back. It's just a ringing noise kind of. Up and, bitch, I don't and then again here, just a little bit of a earpiece, but it changes with every vocal, so you cannot copy what I've got here. You just got to go through and do some subtractive EQ. You just want to pick one out, maybe lower the band so it's a, just a short amount of frequencies that you're testing, and then I solo it, and then I'll go through like that. But it's not good for your ears if you're doing that on too high volume. So if you're going up in the high frequencies with a high volume, don't do that because you're going to hurt your ears. So secondly, um, in the EQ, I add all the highs back to the EQ. So on the DS, I took a shit ton of the highs out. And then on the set, on the first EQ, you might take some of the highs out with um, the subtractive EQ. So then I add the highs back in, in this EQ. Listen without it. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She and then with it. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. I do not give a shit, that's how I move. So you can definitely hear the difference there. You can hear the background noise come back in because of that higher frequency background noise you're going to get. Usually you wouldn't have that if you recorded in a proper either studio or just a bedroom without a fan on. But it was too hot and we didn't really care about the song so we just did it with a fan. So I'll go through quickly what I've done here. Basically um, for the first one I've done subtractive EQ again but I've basically brung up the EQ instead of bringing it down just to boost this kind of midsection here. And if it changes with every song, so you can't do what I'm doing. But yeah, I added that, and then I basically add this all the time. So then I'll basically add three layers of high shelves, and this is the first one here. So that boosts all the highs from this point on, this blue line here. And then the next one is this pink line. And then the last one is this green line. And then when you add all those together, you're slowly boosting it up and getting this kind of line here. And then I thought I wanted to get a bit of that background noise off and there was a little bit of sibilance still in the vocal just because of the vocal performance. So it changes with artists and whatnot. So I came back and I just took a bit off with a high shelf, but just put it down. So then it sounds like this. So for the last EQ, I basically just boost some parts of the frequencies and then lower some parts of the frequencies just to add and subtract a few little things that might make it sound better or worse so you can just hear this it's pretty minor 
I'll play it without. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. And then with. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping, bitch. I do not give a shit, that's how I move. I think it adds a little bit of brightness there because I've obviously upped the frequencies here in the high end and then a little bit on the bassy end here and then I've taken out a bit of the mid. Okay, so then we go on to compressing the vocal. Some people use limiters on their vocal. I don't. I don't know why you would. A compressor is a better idea, I think. But I use two. I basically use the FabFilter Pro C2 one and, and then an Ozone one you'll see in a second. Um, the second one's basically just for a bit of um, feel and warmth to the actual vocal. I'm not actually compressing a ton. But with the Pro C2, um, it's, pretty, it's laid out pretty well. You basically, I just have a really um, fast attack and a decently fast release, at least for this vocal here. Um, you can take these sorts of um, sorts of settings and apply them to any um, any type of compressor, whether it be the default one in your door or whatever. So you low, I lower the um, threshold to about 15 dB, depending on how loud the vocalist come into the actual um, door. Right now it's at a, I forget what level it was at, but it's at a decent level, so I've put the threshold at 15. You just kind of want to test that out and listen back and see how it feels. And then the ratio is always 4 to 1. That's what you do with a vocal usually. Um, compressing is kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing because you need to hear what you're trying to do. But basically you're just compressing um, the vocal on top and bottom to make a block of sound almost but you're trying not to compress it to the point where it's just one flat volume because there needs to be a difference in the vocal as it goes up and down as the words get enunciated and there's little breaks and whatnot you don't want it to sound like a block of sound but that's kind of what you're doing you're making it clumped so there's not really high bits and really low bits you're making it nice and flat almost so we'll listen without it she is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She and then with it, the vocal is going to be a lot louder because I've upped the wet gain here, and it's just in general a compressor is going to make it louder. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. So you can see here it goes through, and it's downing parts and it's bringing up parts that are lower and higher. You're probably not going to get this um, view of the sound going through on a normal compressor, but. You do on the fab filter one, which I love, and that's why I like their ones, because they're really visual, but even though you shouldn't really use visual cues to mix, but it works. Um, so then I'd go and add a second compressor. Once again, you don't have to use this. This is a really expensive one, this ozone one, but I use it, I like it. So I just use the smooth feature on it, and then I'll just put this these settings on it usually. It's pretty minor. It's just to add a little bit to the vocal. I'm not going to play the before and after. You might be able to hear it, you might not. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me cause I am popping bitch. Anyway, so that's how it sounds. Then reverb. Um, little tip, don't drown your vocal in reverb. It doesn't need to be drowned in reverb, but it does help to add a little bit just to add a bit to the vocal so it doesn't sound so dry. Now you might be wondering what I've done here. In um, the FabFilter Pro R um, reverb, you can actually take off you, and EQ the actual reverb. You can usually do this in any reverb um, plugin, but it's visual in the Fab Filter one, and it kind of looks like the normal EQ, which is nice. Um, so I've EQ'd some of the lows out in the in the actual reverb, in the echo you get, and then I've done a 2.8% mix, so not much reverb. I left the rest pretty normal. Of the brightness is. Um, like that you can the brightness is just the frequency so it might be a duller if you put it on the dark side brighter have higher frequencies i've put the distance on far and then the actual space where the time the reverb goes for is 1.7 seconds so you can hear without it she is a thotty a slippery esophagus and then with it because she wanna fuck with me because i am popping bitch i do not give a shit that's how i move i think it sounds way better with the reverb you can definitely hear the vocal kind of liven up a little bit so it just sounds nice and then a little plugin that i like to use that you definitely don't have to and you can just do in any eq but i use this one because it has an airband feature here so this is just an eq but i use this airband feature so i push the um this frequency band here all the way to 40 um khz or kilohertz and then i just do the air gain here so it pushes up just the very high end of the vocal 
and you can see whether or not it's peaking here on the um on the frequencies and it basically just boosts the high end makes it sound a bit more energetic or lively if you need that for the actual vocals some vocals don't need it some do i know some artists i've got that have mixed you definitely don't put this on and it just peaks and it just sounds shit some vocals you do this one i think i needed it and v4s i usually always, i always use it for v4s she is a thotty, a slippery esophagus and with it cuz she want to fuck with me cuz i am popping bitch I pretty minor but it's there then the last um, effect I put on the vocal is just the delay. I use the Waves um, H delay. I really like this delay. I find it um, simple to use. Fab filter have one, but I find it the most confusing thing and it's freaking dumb. So I use this and I'll go through it quickly because it might be a bit confusing um, to the people that haven't used it before. We can use any one, but I use this. So I'll set the BPM of the beat here, or you can just put it on the host if it's um if the bpm is set in your door it's not in this one because i always forget to do it on this one so i just got the bpm of the beat in fl studio just chucked it in ran um a tempo clicker and just tapped along to it just went you know how you do that and then got the bpm it's 103 and then put the delay on so right now you can hear it like this she is a thotty a slippery esophagus and then the delay Cause she wanna fuck with me cause I am poppin' bitch I do not give a shit, that's how I move So it's pretty low and it's pretty dull But it just adds a bit in the background Sometimes you won't even realise there's a delay Till you go back and listen for the delay Like you can go listen to pretty much all, all songs And they'll have a delay But it's just super minor, it just depends on the song So in all the songs I do now I add a delay and I'll just put it really low If I don't think it's needed Or if it is needed I'll have it a bit higher So it adds a, li a lot to the vocal, I think, and it makes it sound more professional if you do. So I've put mine on a one and a half bar um, delay. So that's how uh, how soon after the vocal is said, the delay is going to go. So you can listen here. She so it comes like a little bit after. If I put it on eight and I played it, she it comes quicker. And it's going to repeat quicker if I have the feedback on. It's going to go she, 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 she. Or it's just going to go she, 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 she. So I have it on four pretty much always. And then the feedback is how many times it's going to actually feed back. So if I, I just have it on three, which is basically one feedback. So it's just going to go once. She. If I put the feedback on, say, 47, it's going to sound like this. She is. So you're going to hear repeating, repeating, repeating. But when you have a vocal... Um, and someone's doing a verse and you have a ton of words you don't want it to be feed you don't want to get feedback and hear she 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 where well, other delays start to pile on top of that and you're just getting a, like a muddy mess especially if you're using the um, the filters like this and it's just going to be a low kind of a low end mid-range mess so that's how I do that with the feedback and then with the dry wet that's just how loud it is I have it on this loudness so you can kind of hear it when the vocal is being played and then um, the filters that's just a high pass and a low pass so letting the low frequencies pass letting the high frequencies pass so it doesn't sound like a just um, a vocal off center as I would like to say so when you hear it back she it kind of has a radio effect to it because I've cut out the highs and the lows. Like remember when I was talking about the EQ and I was talking about cutting off the lows, you cut off the lows and you get a radio effect. And if you cut off the highs, you kind of get a radio effect as well. But also it puts emphasis on the main vocal because it's not kind of overlapping. It's just a background sort of thing. It's like almost another instrument in the, in the um, beat. So that's how I do that. How I do the filters. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. So that sounds really cool in parts like this. I'll just play a different part of the beat. So it sounds cool in um, sections like this where you have a break after the vocal and it just plays back and it's kind of like an ad lib. She say uh, and I. So it just fills out the song there. Speech. She say uh, and I. Oh, she speech. She say uh, and I don't even tweet. When so that's basically it for the vocal. I've then put the same vocal uh, vocal effects on both of these tracks here, as you can see down the bottom. And then on V4's tracks down here, I've done the exact same effects, but I've just edited them, edited the actual um, settings on them to suit his vocal. They're not the exact same 
settings but they're the same effects as you can see then on the beat I'll usually do something um, on my beat I don't put much because it's just I leave it how it is that's how I um, kind of mixed it in the door that I made it in in FL studio um, and you can just hear the effects here I've basically added this EQ to every song I do I'll just take out a bit of the higher mids and the mids here just so the vocal passes through it a bit better so if you don't have this then you might need to have your vocal too loud for it to come through in the mix when the beats playing so I do this so you can hear the vocal without it being extremely loud and overpowering the beat You might not be able to hear it, but it definitely helps bring the vocal out. So you might want to do that. Just you basically just highlight the parts where the main vocal is sitting, the frequency, the, the frequencies of the vocal, and just cut those out a bit. Then I've just added an imager um, just to bring up a little bit of the highs um, for the hi hats, basically. Just adds a little bit to it. It just. Uh, yeah, it just brings a bit out in the high ends of the beat. So that's it. Um, I'll just play the beat now in full so you can listen to it. If you have any questions, just comment or join my Discord in the description and we can talk on there. I can talk about the mastering for it in um, the Discord, but it's pretty fucking simple. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> She speak, she say, uh, and I don't even tweak when I put my toes in the mouth. What the fuck she speak? She say, uh, and I don't even tweak. She is a thotty, a slippery esophagus. She wanna fuck with me, cause I am popping, bitch. I do not give a shit, that's how I move. If you want to talk to me, talk to my crew. I'm a pussy, you are what you eat. Put me on the track, I'ma murder the beat. Like a furnace has heat, yeah, I'm burning my meat, yeah, so permanently put my dick in the freezer. I'm a teaser. Yeah, you know I'm explicit If I see the cat, best bet I'm gon' kick it That shit hit the moon, it went through my ceiling It went past my head, the fuck was it screaming? Uh. Oh shit, I think I really just did something right there, boys <laughs> One, two, three Toes on my mouth, bitch, lick them on a daily You just won't clout, bitch, well you better pay me Fuck about my spot with that polka dot pussy James Charles with the gay shit, better miss me Dicker in the throat, make a bitch go, uh Licker like a lizard with my tongue go up Ay, bitch, I am up like a double mic cup With the Pokemon pocket like, bro, what is up? I got the Omni tricks, Ben 10 in this bitch We make some money, but we never sold bricks No gang, but you know I let my nuts hang Water bend a pussy like I'm Avatar And keep a blade on me like I'm Sasuke Bet she wanna leave cause you whackin' too gay Got ashy knees and a sore throat, ayy Bitch be goin' uh, uh, all day, ayy 